Lecturer at the International College of Management in Sydney. Thank you for joining us on TRT World. Why do you think we're seeing this increase in missile testing from North Korea, especially this year? Well, the timing is everything. And uh, well, North Korea is learning from its uh, neighbors and, and um, veterans uh, from China, from Russia. What is happening in Eastern Europe is certainly motivating North Korea to be more bold in its uh, approach to uh, develop, test, and potentially uh, use, utilize its nuclear and uh, ballistic missile arsenal. Uh, we see that um, North Korea uh, just last week promised that um, uh, it is going to continue developing its nuclear program at the fastest possible pace, and even promised that its um, nuclear doctrine may change if uh, North Korean national interests are under uh, threat, the mm -hmm. threat of uh, survival, and North Korea potentially may use nuclear weapons preemptively. So that's something what uh, Kim Jong-un is learning from Vladimir Putin um, in with regards to its relations with the neighbors and enemies across the ocean. Uh, but Vladimir Putin is also learning uh, from Kim Jong-un about how to suppress the um, internal opposition, how to deal with the closed insular borders and how to manage the uh, autarkic economy. So I think that North Korea is now on the trajectory uh, of um, uh, resuming its work and testing of not only uh, ballistic missile uh, vehicles for the delivery of nuclear payloads, but also for the um, nuclear devices. Mm -hmm. and, uh, who knows? Perhaps we will see it soon. Well, Dr. Petrov, Western intelligence officials say Pyongyang is actually preparing to conduct a nuclear weapons test for the first time in more than four years. So you think this is definitely something that we could possibly see this year, especially as uh, North Korea seems to be becoming more emboldened because of that conflict in Ukraine? Uh, yes, indeed. The last um, nuclear test which North Korea uh, performed was in September 2017. It was a thermonuclear device, the hydrogen bomb. Um, quite powerful, and it was the underground test in Pugengri, in north uh, eastern province of North Korea. So uh, potentially now with the more developed, more advanced um, vehicles for um, delivery of the of the payload of nuclear warheads, uh, North Korea may try to test or may try to perform the uh, atmospheric test or perhaps an underwater nuclear test. Uh, we don't know. In any case, it is going to be scary, particularly for the neighbors, South Korea, Japan. Well, Russia is not far away from uh, the launching uh, site, and the, but also China is getting nervous that North Korea may do something reckless that potentially could contaminate its northeastern provinces. So I think at the moment it's just at the stage of rhetoric, but uh, North Korea understands that uh, nuclear devices um, play not on the... the uh, role of um, in case of, of need to defend, but uh, also it's a quite symbolic uh, measure mm -hmm. of a deterrence where the regime um, can protect itself against potential invasion or an attempt to deliver a precision strike. Okay, Leonard Petrov, live to us there from Sydney. Thank you so much for your analysis.